K-Man. Premier Alden McLaughlin got people's attention this week when he defended K-Man's immigration policies and called on opponents to remember what life was like before the territory welcomed foreign investment. I'm K-Man Compass editorial writer Jennifer Hemmingson, and this weekend on Mail Call, we'll take a look at what Compass readers had to say about the Premier's call to unity. In a speech before the Legislative Assembly, the Premier said, Many of us living in this country do not understand what we have. I hear them banging on about we need to stop work permits. I hear them banging on about we need to stop population growth. I'm not suggesting for a moment that we shouldn't plan our development and our growth, but there is a reason why we are the envy of many other places in the world. It's because we have not been victims to insular thinking and prejudice. Compass Online commenter David Miller wrote to say he agreed with the Premier, saying, The population needs to grow higher to bring down the cost of living. We also need to protect the elderly and youth. Mr. Miller suggested focusing affordability measures on these two populations and creating a government bank to lend to Caymanians at a lower interest rate. He writes, There are many ways to lower duties and create money for government. Ron and Claire Ebanks questioned whether the Premier was looking at the whole picture and wondered what government is doing to fix the problems he outlined in his speech, including employment, foreclosures, and funding for education and health care needs. They write, As the leader of government business, is he addressing all the issues that he mentioned, or is he leaving them to get out of control, like the green iguanas? I would say that the speech is well written, but he needs to go back and really study these highlights and see if the way he is fixing them is the best way. Well said, Premier McLaughlin, wrote commenter Norman Linton. Of course, it is right and proper that Caymanians should always have first shot at any job that they are willing and capable of doing. I support the education of young Caymanian people 110%. It's already a fact that someone born overseas who works in a job like security guard, cashier, or home help will never be able to qualify for permanent residence, no matter how honest, hardworking, and kind they may be. And please remember, they are human beings too. The Compass editorial board also wrote about the Premier's speech, which it called a principled message of inclusion, decency, judiciousness, and foresight. Thanks for watching Weekend Mail Call. Tell us what you think. And don't forget to pick up your daily paper, subscribe to our channel on YouTube, and spend time with us online at caymancompass.com.